So there's an ancient Greek word, kenosis, kenosis. Kenosis means emptying out, emptying out. It's used in the Bible because all of the stories of Jesus were recorded in reference to Greek philosophy. They tried to explain this Christ figure that could be all things for all people. It could be holy with the holy people. It could be dirty with the tax collectors the prostitutes, the collaborationists working with the Romans, that he manifested kenosis. But then they try to talk about it, and they can't describe it. I went to divinity school, and there would be whole lectures about kenosis. How do you describe a person who empties out? Well, there are no words for it. And all of you have been experiencing it, all of us. This emptying out. You can't word it. In fact, a word is already blocking it. Kenosis, emptying out. When a glass is full of water, it can't receive anything new. Even the Taoists talked about emptying out, emptying out, in order to really be full of life again. That's Zen. Zen is kenosis. Without the word. It's just what we're doing. That's why we don't have speech in the retreats. So you can really taste, you can really be kenosis. And there's another Greek word I want to introduce you to today, which is connected to that, which is telos. Telos means a purpose, an object, a result. Telos, teleology. Teleology is the study of from Aristotle, the study of things done for results, things leading, a cause leading to a behavior or a purpose or an action, telos. So we use a knife to cut food. Nobody We do weightlifting, we get all this pain, we go for a big run. The weightlifting and the running is kind of cool too, but we know that it produces also health benefits, endorphins. No one does all of this crossfit and weightlifting just for the pain, unless you're a sicko like Pablo. Loves that shit. (laughs) The Surgeon General came out tomorrow and said that all that pain leads to lung cancer or a big, good bike ride, as much as you might enjoy it for itself, leads to liver cancer. Studies show people would do it less. But we know there's a telos to it. And we know from doing it, we get endorphins, we know from neuroscience, we get dopamine. So we feel the telos of a good ride, a good run, a good project completed. There's a telos. Everything, every verb we have has a telos, an object or a desired end, teleology. The opposite of teleology is possible, too. 
because sometimes with the telos, sometimes we get the result, but sometimes we get, we get a knee injury or a back injury, not the desired telos. So telos is still dualistic. It might lead to the result, and it might not. What we are doing here, our kenosis, is atelial. Yes, from meditation we do also get some benefit, for sure. The neurosciences, we do get endorphins from a good set. Calmer mind, better relationship, insight. We do get telos, but we don't do it for that telos. It's atelial, actually, at its core. You've all experienced that. You have experienced the atelial in your life, at least for a few moments. For some of you, many minutes or even hours of this experience. Just the doing just pure being, yeah, after the great Dharani stops, after the Om Mani Padme Om stops, abiding in the breath, with phenomena washing past, sound phenomena, brown floor phenomena, sensation in the body, phenomena, with the ocean of phenomena washing over, you have experienced moments. And for someone who meditates long, you experience hours, days, months, and years of this atelial now. It has no object. It is the object itself, if you have to talk like that. So everything we do out in the world, everything that's waiting for us, my God, this shit is waiting for us. That's all teleological relationship to reality. We do things for things. I don't just mean objects. We do actions for object, for some reaction, some object, some relationship. But what we're doing here on the cushion is atelial. It itself. If you let go of thinking, teleological is based on logos, word, thinking. If you really abide in the breath, returning to it, just that soft presence itself, not for what it does to you. It will do good things for you, by the way. But we don't do it for that. If they even informed me tomorrow morning that the Surgeon General says that meditation leads to lung, liver, stomach, intestines, foot, mouth, eye, cancer, I would still be back on the cushion the next day because it's atelial. It's pure being in itself. So as we sit here, we lucky few, this bright Sunday morning, the bells of Regensburg, bringing us back to moment. Some of those bells are 800, 1200 years old. So we are hearing the same sounds 
we are having the same experience as people 1,200 years ago. The same. You can't get that with your TV. It's the same experience exactly. Not like it. It is it. So time and space are collapsed. So find the breath. Return to your atelial now. Your life. Eyes half open. Engaged. Turning the view inward. What sits here? What am I?